We got two new legends and some ideas of how to prepare for Zero Chill coming later on this week. Let's jump right into it. What's good, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy Rob, aka Roboto. So we're back with Legends on a Legend Saturday. We're gonna go over the two options, Lance Allworth and Ted Hendricks, and we're gonna break them down a little bit. They're actually not bad cards. We're also gonna look at the state of the market right now and how we can take advantage of that to prepare for Zero Chill just a little bit. I'll show you guys what I'm doing, and maybe you can take some hints in that way. But before we jump into that, just wanna let you know if you are new here, I appreciate you for stopping by. If you'd be so kind as to hit the subscribe button down below, notification bell right next to it. It would greatly, greatly, greatly support this channel. Also a good way to support this channel if you're a tried and true viewer, thumbs up, like the video. If you like what you see, thumbs up, thumbs up. Again, if we hit 30 likes on this video, we will open a bundle. So hit that like goal. We'll rip up a zero chill bundle when it's live and then have some fun with those cards and see what we can do. If it's a good bundle too, we'll post it right here on YouTube. So keep that in mind. And in the comment section down below, let me know what you're doing to prepare for zero chill. If you got any ideas, plans, thoughts, strategies, we'll jump around a little bit and talk about a bunch of topics as it pertains to zero chill. So let's jump right in. The other thing too about this whole zero chill program is that it might be a little bit different this year, right? Last year we got stuff involving gingerbread men. Last year we got stuff involving um, the different uh, exchange sets for puzzle pieces and all that type of stuff to build the Christmas puzzle and get a random card. A lot of that might change just because, especially last year, we found a way to kind of exploit the gingerbread men situation. So um, that might change a little bit. So keep that in mind too, as we see some of the stuff, especially the stuff from last year, um, some of that could change. The other thing too I wanna show you guys is this, and I'll pop this up right here. It's the Twitch Prime Gaming setup now this is different from drops okay this really doesn't have much to do with drops in my in my experience here this prime gaming stuff might be the reason why drops aren't working right but um point being is that you get a free pack basically to kick off zero chill on monday if you sign up for prime gaming so make sure you do that you can be ahead of the game a little bit not the you know quickest thing to do but you could be ahead of the game a little bit there with the pack already in your binder so keep that in mind there that's going to be there for you available if you have prime gaming already signed up if you need to know how to do it um let me know i'll send you a link to how to do it in the comment section um and it's pretty easy it's relatively self-explanatory you just got to basically link your accounts and stuff so keep that in mind right some of this stuff might change a little bit but the fact remains the same as far as zero chill prep coins are king and training isn't bad to have. Also with Zero Chill 2, we probably won't get out of position or ghost right away on launch on first day. We're probably just gonna get the base standard Zero Chill stuff, some solos and all that. But what I will say is you should be prepped for Zero Chill to have out of position and ghosts. Ghosts probably might be limited this year, but they could switch it up. But just keep that in mind. That stuff might not be there right on launch for Zero Chill, but it should come down the pipe. Oh, and one thing before we do jump in, I do want to let you guys know that I'm going to be live on Twitch both today and tomorrow, all day tomorrow, especially. I'm going right through the special stream, doing a bunch of zero chill prep. I'm just prepping for zero chill. So if you're looking for some hot, hot weekend league gameplay, I might not be the man for you and I'll be straight up about that. But I'm going to be trying to make coins. I'm going to try to make training. I'm going to try to do a bunch of stuff to be prepped for Monday because I don't want to be caught with my pants down again, right? Like Blitz. So we're going to be doing a lot of stuff both today and tomorrow just to prep for all that. So if you do want to follow along and catch up with what I'm doing, um, right there, second one down, Twitch, R0BATO. Also down in the description, there's a link that you can click that will allow you to follow me over there on Twitch. Um, I have a lot of stuff I'm going to be prepping both uh, for training and coins. So we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. All right, so Legend Saturday, two cards that are out. Um, we're up to 95 overall still with those guys, the limited time cards or the uh, Boss Legend Limiteds, I guess you could call them. Again, it's going to be Ted Hendricks and Lance Allworth. So we'll jump right up to the 95 and see if we can see any on the market right now. We're still back 94, 95 is obviously 94 is the boss and then 95 is the LTD card if anybody got it. So there's Ted Hendricks and Allworth. Um, they're both listed pretty high. Hendricks's art is not loading for his 94. Oh my goodness, somebody's listening to 94 at a million coins. That's hilarious. Um, let's just keep going through here, see if we can get a 95 for Allworth. There he is. So Lance Allworth right here, 95. Route Runner, now this card is kind of nasty, right? Um, if we compare him to any other of the receivers that I have on my team, most notably Tyree Kill, in my opinion, is the best receiver in the game overall, just due to his speed, but this Allworth is not anything to sneeze at. So on the left is Tyreek, obviously. Those are his, because the compare screen's messed up. This is how Tyreek's, um, card's gonna compare without any abilities or anything like that so 
Allworth has him on pretty much everything or tied on the route running at the end, but Allworth has him on pretty much everything, right? He's coming stock 94 speed, 92 jump, 95 catch, 93 catch in traffic, 92 spec catch, 94 short route, 92 medium route, 95 deep route running on his big um, LTD boss card here. Obviously, if you put the regular card through the power up path, you can go ahead and basically get the same stats right here for a 95. The LTD is basically the same card as if you powered Allworth all the way up through his power up. So this is the LTD for Lance Allworth. It's a good card. It's just a good card. I mean, he's he's one of the greatest receivers of all time. Uh, easily one of the greatest receivers of all time. I know he's from the 60s and a lot of the, you know, boomer generation really loves him. And I know a lot of the youths don't really understand why he's in the game, but he's really, really good. Um, so that's Lance Allworth. Let's see if we can get a Hendrick somewhere. I don't even see it yet on the market. I mean, to be fair, we are like five minutes into the program. Here we go. 95 overall Ted Hendricks. Let's see if we can compare him before somebody snags it. I thought anybody's going to buy it. But uh, 95 overall, there's his art with that beautiful, beautiful Burt Reynolds mustache there. Um, okay, so Hendricks and compared to a guy like Mac or Clowney for me, again, we're looking at this. These guys are just stock right here, obviously. So 89 speed, 90 excel, 92 strength, 92 tackle, um, 90 play rec, 90 block shed, 92 power moves, 87 finesse moves. Again, this card is a monster, right? It's a beast, beast, beast. That speed is beautiful. It'll easily be over 90 speed if you got it powered up the right way. Um, that's, that's you know, pretty deadly right there. 90 speed, pass rusher, um, run stopper on the outside there. So both cards are pretty damn solid. And again, if you get this boss card here, obviously what you can do to power them up to get those stats is play the solo that they offer it every week. We go through it. Um, they give you these solos here. Now, here's something I want you all to consider with the legends, right? While we're here on this legends topic, and I'll tell you what I've been telling my people, um, both in Twitch chats and, and even online and discords and whatnot, go through here and maybe pick out some of these uh, names, right? That we haven't gotten an upgrade for. Let's all go all the way back, right? So. If you look at the names here, for example, in the first week, Dan Marino, Jerry Rice could be good power ups to have right um, right here. Larry Allen could be a good power up to have Morton Anderson. If you need to make some coins, more it's a good power up to sell. Um, Tony Gonzalez, John Lynch, eh. uh, Lawrence Taylor power up. You should probably have Michael Vick, Deion Sanders. If you don't have both of these power ups in your binder right now, either on your card or through the through the solos in some way, you need to get them both right now. Um, Ricky Jackson, maybe Deacon, uh, Montana, absolutely. Um, I'm just naming these McNair, Ronnie Lott. I'm just naming these guys, and, and probably right here is where I chill, week 13. I'm just naming some names that I think could get potential upgrades, either through Zero Chill or Future Promo, whether that's um, Ultimate Legends, maybe when Team of the Week comes back. There's a lot of options that these guys could get cards for, right? So. Keep that in mind, right? Come through and pick the legends names, notable legends and get those power ups. Because most of the time, the only way you're getting those power ups are legends, especially if, uh, I don't know, let's say Michael Vick's in the 50, as we saw with Mike Allstott this week, when the card comes out, you can still only get that power up through the set, right? So what you can do with a guy like Michael Vick is play the solo, get the power up, hold the power up, wait until the Vick is announced and then sell the card, right? because people are gonna buy it at the most. You obviously wanna do the solo, you get it for free, you can probably make 20, 30,000 coins. So what I've been doing is I've been stocking up on guys that I feel, and some of us in the Twi Twitch chats feel that could potentially get upgrades, right? So as you see, I got Asante, Dre Bly, Weddle, Allen, Michael Vick. Um, I got Donald, Lamar Jackson power up. There's there's a potential that we could get some names. Here's Derwin James' power up for later on. I'm gonna use this on Cleo Mac. Uh, LT's Redux here is just sitting there. There's ways that you can prepare and not really go too crazy into investing and be ready for what's gonna come, right? I mean, yesterday we added all stop and peppers to the squad and that's great. That's why the coin stack's mad low. But at the end of the day, my reasoning here to get some of these guys are maybe they get an upgrade some way through the 50. I think these two guys may be through the 50 here and I think maybe like a Weddle, uh, Asante Samuel, Dre Bly, maybe they get added to the Legends program as we progress through because if you listen to GMM this week, they did say that the regular Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday cadence of content as far as Team of the Week, uh, Wildcard Wednesday, and LTDs are gonna be stopped until January, but they didn't say that about the 50 or Legends. So keep that in mind, all right? So those are the two guys right there. Let's go through the solos also for um, the two guys that came out today. So again, if you still haven't gotten your Legends uh, set complete and you need a Legends token, you can still play the Legends token for this week, number 20. You only need 17, so if you're missing a few, here's your chance to make that up. Um, basically, complete 10 passes, win the game on one star, you get the token right there. And then also the Legends releases. I very much would consider doing these solos because 
even if you just get the power up, you can power this guy all the way up basically to a 93 and training is so cheap and you can get a top of the line receiver here, a 93 overall, people could do that still, right? You could do the power up and get all worth on your team, powered up all the way through basically until his top card. So might be something to consider, especially if you don't want either of these guys, right? For all worth chemistry wise, he's gonna get the Chargers and the Cowboys. For Ted Hendricks, he's getting Raiders, Packers, and Baltimore Colts, AKA the Indianapolis Colts, according to Pro Football References franchise database, uh, Baltimore became Indianapolis. It didn't become the Ravens. Uh, if you remember, the Browns went to Baltimore and then it was the whole thing and the Browns came back and the Ravens, it was like the Colts left in the middle of the night. It was a big mess. But according to Pro Football Reference, the Colts are the team he's gonna get. He's gonna get Colts, Raiders, and Packers for Hendricks. All worth, again, Cowboys and Chargers. So those are the legends for today. As you see, the prices are a little bit high, but it's literally the eggs just got cracked on these on this uh, promotion. So, and the other thing too, before we jump into anything involving zero chill, prep, anything like that, everything I'm saying is just stuff I'm gonna be doing, right? You don't have to follow my footsteps. If you disagree, if you don't think I'm accurate in this, that's fine. I'm not telling you that it's gonna be a guarantee that we will get training rerolls or that we will get stuff for coins. But what I'm saying is based on history, it's safe to assume that we're gonna have to uh, be prepped in some way with training to get whatever the currency is, whether it's chill factor or snow. Keep that in mind. So now you're looking at my stats up there and you're wondering, geez, this dude's broke broke he's a brokey yeah i know i'm broke but that doesn't mean i can't bounce back and make some coins so between today and tomorrow that's what the grind is going to be we're making coins making coins and also i'm going to stack up on trading so i went back and looked at stuff for the zero chill program in particular the first part which is what we're expected to get this coming monday obviously when they do a special stream sunday or the night before we typically get the new stuff the next day so with that in mind, what I would say to go into zero chill with is coins. Coins is king. Coins is the number one currency that you should have going into any new promotion. Have coins, okay? Number two, I would say stack up on training, especially that training is super cheap. And I say stack up on training for multiple reasons. Number one, we should expect a training reroll of some sort, right? Whether that's at 79 plus or 80 plus or an 81 plus, which I think we're gonna be at is an 81 plus as the base, as the bottom, um, the basement of overalls in this program. Um, if we start 81 plus reroll, you're gonna need training for that. And I'm presuming that the reroll is gonna be like maybe 700, 800, 900 training, 1000 training, something like that. But you're gonna need training and training's super cheap right now. Dumb cheap, like almost under five coins per training, which is insane. It's never been this low according to my records and I've seen other um, content creators look back into the past of their old archives as far as trading and it's never been this low this early in the game. Um, we're still like about halfway through, I'd say the mutt year, um, but we're hitting a peak right now where content is gonna be crazy with all the zero chill stuff. So training's never been lower. So I suggest definitely going out there and buying cards that could help you out, especially anything in the Campus Heroes, if you get a cheap Campus Hero, um, Team of the Week stuff, especially the Team of the Week Heroes, that reroll set that we just got recently. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that you can do. Heavyweights, um, veterans, uh, flashbacks, those kind of cards that are reroll cards or cards that come out in packs a lot. Um, even the 50, some of the older 50 cards, like 91 overall, 92 overall 50 cards are super cheap. I mean, Walter Jones yesterday is like 50K. Um, so keep that in mind. That's a good thing to do is have training. I wouldn't say go 100,000 training deep, but you know, if you got 10, 20, 30K training, that's a good number to have both either for rerolls or using them for power-ups, right? You can power cards up. Um, the other thing I would consider too is who else needs upgrades right now, right? There's a lot of cards that we're looking at that could potentially get an upgrade. And in particular, when it comes to the Charles Woodson set, okay? So if we look back to last year, and I'll, I might splice in some shots or screenshots from different content creators, shots to CC, shots to Popular Stranger, Gut Fox. Right here, the master Bruce Smith was a 95 overall. And in his set, he took a 92, 93, 94 to give you the 95. You got two of the cards back as Nat, but the point is, is that the master was a 95 legend on the defense, okay? Very similar to what we have right now, 95 legend on the defense. So what I'm thinking is potentially what we could get is lower cards, 92, 93, 94, that could go into this master set for this only zero chill master right here with Bruce Smith. Now we did get more stuff, right? We got more out of position stuff. We got more guys that came through um, from the uh, ghosts, obviously the LTDs and stuff like that, Stray Hand, Danny Dimes. Um, but what I would say to prepare for that is just wait, right? We won't know anything about Ghosts or OOP and how that works until we get it. But what we do know is that we got a 95 overall master. So 
What that's telling me is that I want coins to get these cards and potentially put the cards in the set to get the Charles Woodson Master Set. So what I'm assuming is gonna happen is a Charles Woodson Master Set will take some sort of semblance of a 92, 93, 94. I'd say along the same lines, maybe 292s, maybe 293s and a 92, something like that, to where we can get the Charles Woodson. Now, something to remember from last year, Christian McCaffrey was included last year in the Zero Chill promo. He hasn't really gotten an upgrade this year besides I believe a Team of the Week card. So McCaffrey's due. Patrick Mahomes, he's due. Juju Smith-Schuster, he's due. There's a couple names. If you guys go out there and just go on the old mud heads and do a quick scan, see who's needed. Marcus Lattimore, safety from the Saints, he's due. There's a bunch of guys, Casey Hayward um, and another corner from the Chargers, they're due as well. There's a couple names out there that are due for upgrades that are solid, solid options. So I'm not saying buy 35 Patrick Mahomes power-ups, but if you can get two or three or four for relatively cheap, under 10K, under even 5K if you can, I'd say stack up on them. Um, I'm gonna do that. I have a couple of Mahomes sitting in my binder, in particular his elites, 88 overall elites, um, and I have about three of his, four of his power-ups sitting in the binder as well, ready to go, just in case that does happen. So what I'm doing is I'm prepping for zero chill just simply by stacking up on coins and training. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you exactly who you should buy. I'm not gonna tell you that you should buy 65 power-ups. I'm not gonna do any of that because if you do remember last year, we got presents, right? And I think the main thing here for training is that we're gonna have to use one of the currencies. Now I've seen different screenshots where it's snow and there's one for chill factor. But the point being is that we're probably gonna use a currency to get something with presence or something similar to the fact is what I would assume what we're gonna get. Now, I'm not, again, sitting here telling you that it's a tried and true guarantee that we are getting presence again, but I would assume that we are. And again, if you can buy training for real cheap, I suggest buying training for real cheap. Stacking up on training is never a bad thing or just having the cards in your binder just in case something does happen that you don't like. Say we don't get a training reroll, you can always sell the card. So just keep that in mind, guys. There's a bunch of different things that I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm gonna be on stream later today and tomorrow as well going over a bunch of this stuff and, and just kind of prepping for Zero Chill as much as I can. So that's gonna do it for the video today. Just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about Zero Chill and show you the legends. Just wanted to go over a couple things that I'm gonna do to prep. Again, if you wanna come swing by, you can. I'm gonna be live on Twitch all weekend, today and tomorrow, all day tomorrow, going over the football games and having some fun with Team of the Week stuff for January when that comes back. So, um, but that's it for now. Talk to you next time. Peace.